hello good morning all today in this video we are going to discuss about how to create a dynamic tree view in Odo version 14 so currently in the screen you are seeing Odo version 14 community edition where we are continuing our Odo 14 development tutorials so if you go to the default Odo module that is if I go to the sales this is the tree view of the quotation and if I duplicate this tab and if I open the hospital and if I go to the patients suppose if I remove this default filter so this is the tree view that we have added for the patients model and here you can see this is the tree view for the sale order model if you check this model at the header of the at the tree view you can see a three dot at the header section by which we can control the field visibility here suppose if I tick salesperson you can see the salesperson has been added and if I tick the tags a new field called tags has been added and if I tick company company has been added and tax tax in invoice status so on ticking this you can see the number of fields getting added and if you untick those fields will be getting removed so this is the dynamic tree view concept that I am talking about by using this we can control which all fields has to be shown and if you need to hide some field you have to just untick it and if you need to show some field you have to tick it and if you refresh so currently you can see we have one two three four five six seven and if you refresh it will be seven itself one two three four five six seven and if i need to remove uh, the status from here you can just untick and if you refresh you will not see the status so this is a dynamic tree view concept in Odo version 14 and it has been introduced from Odo version 13 so if you do the same in Odo 12 and below you will not get the result so let's see how we can add such a dynamic tree view inside our module for the patient's model so right now you can see we don't have such an option inside our tree view so let's see how we can add such an option so first of all here we can see we have around if I refresh and if you check if I remove this or not for the patients model I will do it for the appointments so if you see the appointments tree view I have one two three so first of all I will be adding couple of fields that I have inside the form view to the tree view so we have only three fields so let me add the fields like age gender checkup time date etc in the tree view so if I go to my PyCharm so before going into the PyCharm I will activate the debug mode so let me scroll down and I'll be activating the debug mode in the database and if I come back to the hospital then to the appointments and I can access the ID of the list view so here you can see the external ID of the view is view appointment tree so this is the view that I have to make change so I'll go to the PyCharm and this is my module that is om hospital and inside the views folder you have appointment view.xml file where we have defined the tree view so this is the tree view where we are changing you can see the id is view appointment tree that is view appointment tree so we will be first of all adding new some some extra fields from the form view to the tree view so from the pycharm what i will be doing is that if you check the form view we have fields like age this much fields we have here so I'll copy these fields from the form view and I will add it inside the tree view and let me adjust the indentations control D I'll add fields like date checkup not state and also I'll copy the field like age control C and I'll put it here also let me copy the field named gender or you can duplicate control D and you can manually type like this gender so what I have done is I have added some extra fields and let me restart and let me go to the apps menu and just upgrade the module let me upgrade the module so you can see the module has been upgraded now if I come back to the hospital then to the appointments you can see right now we have a lot of fields in the tree view but still we don't have that three dots here as we have seen inside the sales so if you need to get these three dots inside your view or inside your tree view you have to add one 
attribute for any one of the field that is the attribute name is optional show simply i will be adding like this actually we have two attributes attribute value that is optional show or optional height so let me copy this and i will add it here so you have to add the optional equal to show or optional equal to height for at least one of the field then only that three buttons these three dot buttons will be appearing so what i have done is i have added date appointment as optional show and date checkup as optional height so let's upgrade the module and see what happens to the appointments tree view so i'll go here and i'll go to the apps menu and from the apps menu i'll be upgrading the odu 14 development tutorials so you can see the module has been successfully upgraded now if i come back to the hospital then to the appointments you can see the three dots has been appeared in our tree view and if you check you can see that we have two values that is date and checkup time date and checkup time so you can see in that three dots you will be seeing the fields for which you have set the optional attribute when once you set optional equal to show it will be ticked by default that is it has to be shown though so for that field it will come ticked and it will be visible you can see date is visible now and for the field checkup time it is not ticked because we have set as optional height so it will be by default hidden and optional show will be by default visible now you can see if i tick checkup time the checkup time will be added here and if i untick it will be removed and if i untick the date that also will be getting removed and if i refresh both will be hidden and if you need to activate you have to come here and tick then it will be automatically get saved and if you refresh checkup time will be shown here so if you need to have the same functionality for multiple fields simply you have to copy this attribute and put it for the other fields optional show i'll be putting it for all the other fields not and for the states let's the name and patient id be there because you can if you need to show that all the time you can keep it as it is and if you need those two those fields also to get height you can add the same attribute for these fields also so right now i'll be adding for this much fields and if i go to the apps menu and i will upgrade the odoo 14 development tutorials once again so if you haven't got this module just go to the odoo app store search for odoo mates and you can download this code so the module has been successfully upgraded now if i come back to the hospital then to the appointments and if you click on this three button you can see the number of fields has been increased that is age gender etc has been shown here and you can see if you can tick all the fields will be getting visible and if you refresh you can see everyone is visible and if you untick the fields will be getting invisible and we have only the order reference which is our name field and patient name so this is how you can make a tree view dynamic in odoo version 14 and same can be applicable in odoo 13 also simply you have to add for any of the field one of the field you have to add at least for one of the field in the tree view either you can add optional equal to show or optional equal to hide then these three dots in the tree view will be getting visible and then you can hide or show fields according to your need so here you can see you have an export option by which you can export all the data in the tree view so if you click on this you can see you will be getting an excel file you will be getting an excel file containing all the data so right now you can see all the data is coming suppose in the excel file exporting excel file you don't need the age what you can do I will untick the age then you can simply export the age will not be coming here you can see only what the fields that we have seen in the UI only will be getting exported so this is how you can create a dynamic tree view in auto version 14 so that's it for this video if you have any feedbacks suggestions or doubts feel free to comment it at the comment section or you can directly connect us in the email that is odomates at gmail.com and feel free to connect us in the social medias like linkedin facebook and twitter 
so that's it for this day have a nice day thank you